lets us continue, but also Rain World. Uh, did you get just the base game, or did you also um, commit to to downpour as well? I don't think we need to go back to the basement dungeon right now. <laughs> don't wanna don't wanna commit to downpour yet. Oh, you got everything. <laughs> um, I do believe there are. Um, you do want to go into Remix, that, that's where they call their mods, um, to enable the, um, the the Remix mod. And uh, you don't need to enable more Slug Cats, but um, the Remix should have some stuff as far as, like, just some tweaks to, like, some of the AI and just general quality of life stuff that you may want to ch put on even if you're going in for your first time playthrough. Um, I don't know how blind you want to go through it. Um, it's certainly a game where I think it's perfectly valid to do a bit of wiki crawling when you get stuck. Um, but it's also equally valid if, if, you if you like a little bit of suffering like me uh, and just go completely blind. <laughs> Immersing yourself in slow cat lore. Let me let me tell you, I so I I like speedrunning. I've watched a lot of GDQs. Um, I did a bit of casual speedrunning of an old JRPG that I I love a lot. Um, actually, I should feel. And so usually when I play games blind. The first thing I would like to do when I'm finally done with the playthrough is look up the current speedrun of it to see what it looks like. And the Rain World speedrun, just watching them, watching the movement is... It, it activates the happy chemicals. Um, so I'm, I may like just straight up practice that and maybe just gander some some speed runnings with it because like if only like I, I would like to be doing all the cool moves like that because they are very satisfying to watch um I, I still haven't I don't know I, I might I might like uh, also the slug cat discord highly recommend it it has amazing um like slug cat pride loafs that are adorable and also little dance gifts of each of the lizard types it's fantastic and it is also like for a very small community discord it is insanely well shredded out um so like if you're playing blind for your first time they have things like very not like pretty much non-spoilery, like you'll see like an acronym in a way that won't make sense to you unless you're aware of what it what it means because you've gotten there. That makes sense. Um, so if, if you're the kind of person that likes to, to chronologue your um, playthrough or feed other people as they first play through something, um, definitely recommend checking out the, the Rain World Discord. Um, but yeah, I... I definitely am going to go back to Rain World. I just don't know if I want to stream it or if I want to do it as my own little thing. I'm, I might, like, ping some of the, like, experts. Because I think, I think the biggest, biggest thing for me is... How different, really, are the slug cap playthroughs? Because I know, I am aware that they are... They're, like, not at the same time. Like, each slug cat is at a different time period. But I don't know if, like, they have the same ending. 
or if so like if it's just like me doing the same thing but with a slightly different enemy layout and a different colored slug cap that's kind of eh I would find it fun for just like semantic differences but like as far as a fun stream thing I mean I don't know I don't know if people would be interested in that um, I will say if I do commit to maybe doing some speed running that may be something I do on like whenever I finally get back to streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday certainly an option for Wild Card Wednesday. Because Wednesday is I want to treat as just a day I kind of do with do whatever comes to comes to my mind. If it's game, if it's a roguelike, if it's a random non-static game, just kind of Mixing things up and experimenting is kind of what I want to use Wednesdays for. Shh. I thought that would real. I really thought that would kill it for something. Also, hey, Icky, I see. I see a peeking on there. You can't hide from me. I drink the water. Go put the water somewhere else five minutes later. All hours of the day, all hours of the night, no matter what I'm doing, my life is interrupted by this. Alright, I don't I don't know why it decided to shoot all of the water at like the same time <laughs> rather than spread out through it, but <laughs> just got fucking pelted with bottles and fish. Claire? Beaverly. Ayo Maka No, nope, that's not the right. Minnesota. Oh my god, Claire, what's going on? I was so scared. I tried to get out of here, but there was a monster block in the door. I'm just glad you're okay. I was so worried. Oh, hold on, hold on, I got hold on, let me I gotta I gotta divert the popo. All right, I, I think they detected that where there was the the gay levels were rising a little too much on uh, on my city block. Uh, they they may be they may be hunting hunting for the anomaly. Look at this, Claire. What are we going to do? Look what they did to my family restaurant. Don't know what to do or do without this place. Failed these my whole life. No, no, Beaverly, it's okay. Everything's going to go back to normal too soon. Back to normal soon. We're going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. You'll... You'll mean that? Is that the promise? It's a promise, Beaverly. And this one, I won't break. God, I'm... I'm so sorry about all this. I never, ever wanted you to be put in harm's way. Beaverly, I don't know how to say this, but... I care about you. A lot. Huh? Oh, I care about you too, Claire. No, I mean... No. Never mind. We've got a lot to talk about later. You need to get to safety first. Thank you, Claire. And all of you. I hope to see you again soon. Damn it, Claire. That was your time to confess. Because you could confess and then immediately teleport her out and not have to deal with uh, her response. I think that's everyone. Let's see if we can find a way to the tower to help Faith. Three are pretty similar map-wise and ending-wise, and the rest are very different. I see. Well, if you say three are similar, I assume that's the base game, and then the new ones in Ring World are very different. If that's the case, I might muck with the new ones then. Because I will say... Oh, hold on. Late as usual, Galetta. 
Like the new threads? Jabba's made them for me. Paula, why the hell are you siding with these jerks? Greenridge is your home. Aren't these people your friends? Your friends, maybe. Never really cared about anyone around here. Is that what you decided to turn on us? It was a factor. But I have my reasons. You wouldn't understand. You're right. I wouldn't. Because it doesn't make any sense. Paula, two days ago we were co-workers. I know we never really got along, but I thought we had kind of a back and forth. We had banter. Nah, I've always just hated you. Hated the banter, too. You're never as charming as you thought you were. Paula, please, look around at what you're doing. It's not too late to reconsider all this. <laughs> What's there to reconsider? I was offered a spot on the leading team because Jabus recognized my natural talents. I'd have to be an idiot to turn him down. If you knew who you were really up against, you'd be second guessing your loyalties too. But who exactly are we up against? Yeah, what's the deal with this Queen Verena you and Jabus are working for? I've been asked not to say too much, but don't worry. You'll have a chance to meet our boss real soon. Javis is summoning her below the tower as we speak. Not if we have anything to say about it. You don't. Anyway, if you manage to get in the tower, the boys are really looking forward to seeing you spring all the traps. I don't want to ruin their fun. I'll leave you to it. Later, losers. Damn, Paula really pulled a proto man and just zipped away. Also, hey, Magos, welcome on by. Stretch and head pats. Ah, oh, thank you for the head pats. Oh, no, stretch. All right, we already did arms, we already did back. Uh, to, now, this stretch, we gotta go for the hamstrings. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, I didn't do any biking this weekend because it was kind of wany and I'm a wimp, but I, uh, my hamstrings still suck. Don't yeet me into the void while I'm stretching. That's rude. I'm gonna pull a muscle. Uh, all right. God, she really knows how to grind my gears. You're dead. You're telling me. What are we gonna do about getting into the tower? That's where Faith and Javis are, but the path's blocked. Good question. Should we reconvene with Province and maybe think of a plan together? Wait, the basement dungeon. Oh, not this again. No, no, hear me out. When I was building the basement dungeon, I tunneled into a cave that's directly below the tower. The central obelisk extends right through it and everything. If things haven't gotten too scrambled down there, that might be our way in. Hey, it's worth a shot. Right, let's move out. We need to get to Faith. Is that a good stretches feel? Like your body? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. S stretching, stretching releases the happy chemicals. Absolutely. But you don't want, like, stretching should never, ever be painful. Um, and you don't want to bob your stretches. You want just a nice, gentle kind of pull. Um... Maybe uh, holding holding it for a minute to sort of let your muscles um, sort of release some tension, uh, depending on the stretch. Um, yeah, that's why that's why I always am concerned about like whenever have whenever you have like a second person um, for certain stretches, you definitely want to make sure they know what they're doing as well. Um, you don't want anyone to, because like certain stretches, like if you're sitting down with your legs out and you're kind of like leaning to the center, and you might have someone kind of give you a little bit of a push to to get a little bit further down. Um, you don't want anyone who might take it as a joke to like push you really hard or anything like that, because you might end up hurt. I don't know. Some uh, some. Trust issues with uh, assistive stretches. 
Hey, Miss Snow, welcome on by. Uh, today, um, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good, other than my scrambled sleep schedule uh, that I messed up over this weekend. Uh, but today, we are doing a little bit of Slarpg continuance. Uh, we got Act Three, um, where the extra-dimensional invaders have fucked up our hometown. So we are rescuing our friends. Um, in Claire's case, her significant other, sort of. She wants to be significant other, but uh, cowed out on confessing her feelings at the last moment. Um, I would also say, uh, you might see on the pin message, um, I've been made aware of, of uh, someone who I would consider a friend and a huge inspiration for me to even hit that go live button. Um, they had an emergency medical in America, so uh, they're doing they're doing a little doodle-a-thon this week um, because it's also the week of their birthday. And don't you love fucking last-minute expenses slapping you in the face of right before uh, a day that would be otherwise a celebration? Um, um, you can hit the exclamation point donoathon. It should kind of give you some some information. Um, I'm trying to just kind of spread awareness. If you want to give their stuff a gander, they're they're a sweetheart. Um, the little scrungleo doodles are also really cute. Um, I would also say I'm doing a little bit. There, there's I'm, I'm a novice on the art journey, but they are someone who has inspired me and kind of got me taking a crack at it. Um, so I have put like a little thing where I will do a uh, little 500 by 500 oil painting thing. Um, Kind of calling them three in ones, just because I think that's kind of catchy and it sort of encompasses uh, what it is. It's basically like you give me three colors and then like a one word object, ID, a one word something. Um, and then I just kind of paint what comes to mind. Because it's, it's been a lot of fun to just make fun, sh make shapes and see where things take me. Um, although I do need to practice mixing oil colors, I just need I just I just need practice and build up my knowledge of how things work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone is interested in that kind of thing. So I'm certainly no uh, no professional like. Uh, Yasumi Yuni herself, or or Gladdle, or or Doodle Connor. Um, I am merely a humble serpent, uh, noodling on the internet for people's amusement when playing hard games, or for fun when playing with friends. Uh, where the fuck was the basement? Was it down one more? No, that leads out. I could have sworn the basement should have been, like, up and to the right. Do I need to go right again? No, it's not over here. There's no good art, only more or less effective communication of ideas and feelings. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I do think... And that's, that's sort of... One of the things why oh, it was right there the whole time. Like I think anything you create, whether it's art, writing, a video, um, you are putting a piece of yourself in it. Um, and I think it's a kind of it can be either like a bit of ego, it could be a bit of vulnerability um, in in exposing yourself to to others and. 
I think that's neat. I, I have a lot of respect to artists. Okay, this is a good sign. Looks like everything is intact down here. Let's make a beeline for the back area. Yeah, yeah. I know I know for her um her scrunglios, um you 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 kinda need to catch her um live. Um and I think she's streaming this at least tomorrow and the next at least Tuesday and Wednesday. So the next two days, absolutely. Um I know there's a couple other people who are doing something similar. Um actually I should I ha I made the little button. So Uni is is the one specifically. Um, uh, that's the person. If you're if you're not already following, um, Uni is the person I was I was talking about. And yeah, it was due, due north. I already went through all three. Oh, I'm dumb. Faith, Jody. Noom! <laughs> hey, I think they care about each other. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I know you must have been worried sick. No, no, there's no time for that, dear. I'm just so glad that nothing happened to you. Lord knows, I need some good news today. <laughs> One appropriately long hug later. See? I told you we'd bring back Jody in one piece. Don't assume that means you're off the hook for your little secret lair down here, Missy. But there'll be plenty of time to lecture you later. Provided there's still a green ridge to go back to after we deal with your little friend here. Yes, that's the spirit. All we have to do is stop Jabba's and shut down his machine and everything will go to normal. What are you down here? What are you going... Ugh. What are you doing down here anyway? The ringleader of those interdimensional ruffians found a way into the tower's basement and then disabled the elevator so he wouldn't be followed. Normally I'd be alerted as soon as he set foot in there, but it seems like the attack on the town was just a diversion so I wouldn't notice the break-in. Yeah, Javis definitely loves his diversions. Do you have any idea why he might be targeting the tower? Paula said that Javis is trying to summon their boss, someone named Queen Varena? Yeah, have you ever heard of her? Can't say that I have. Wait, did you say Paula? I mean, Paula Cassidy? She's working for these people? We've got a lot of catching up to do later. Oh, Miss Nil, thanks for stopping on by. Have a fantastic eat, and I hope you have a great... Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I should have expected that. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, well, one known for the road. I see how it is. <laughs> Hydrate? Okay, okay. And stretch. Alright, let's stretch the neck this time. Neck and shoulders. Oh, a little to the left. Oh, a little to the right. Oh, roll it around just a little bit. Ah, all right. We've got a lot of catching up to do later. Hold on. I think I might know what he's after. Have you ever noticed the way the tower seems to pulsate with magical energy? Uh, yeah, Faith. I think I noticed that the big tower a block away from my house glows bright pink at night. Well, that's not just for show. The central obelisk is a giant ancient mana conduit. And if this Verena is even half as powerful as they say she is, then Javis will need a lot of energy to summon her. Precisely. Hold on. If the tower's a big mandic generator, how come we don't have villains going after it all the time? Seems like a pretty useful thing to have. Because it's not a particularly good one, as far as we know, its power output is oddly low. Hmm. Oddly low, you say. Plus... That's definitely not foreshadowing. There's no way that's that's foreshadowing for, for any particular reason. But Jabba's has technology that seems to defy our understanding of magic. If he has a way to turbocharge the tower for his for this summoning, we're in deep trouble. Look, I shouldn't be letting you in here, but the clock's ticking and we need to find Jabba's. 
follow me. So, how are we going to get in? This looks like a dead end. Oh yeah, little f Oh god, I almost used my own name for a pun. That's a slippery slope. <laughs> anyway, observe. Open says me. Wow, I came really close to discovering the secret passageway, huh? Perhaps, but you would have set off about a dozen alarms, so be thankful that you didn't. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's go. Very ominous cave music, that's for sure. Welcome to the Guardian's Vault. Home to everything the old Guardians wanted to keep from prying eyes. Wow, this place has been under Green Ridge the whole time? Yes, and like I said, you shouldn't even be here, so please don't tell anyone about the vault. Yes, ma'am. Given the dire circumstances, we're going to bend the rules a little and let you arm yourselves with some of the items in here. We need to be ready for a real fight. There are lots of dangerous relics stored here that you shouldn't touch, but anything in a regular old chest should be fine to take. See? I always knew you were cool, Faith. Don't get any ideas. But all this junk is worthless if we can't use it to save our town. Oh, and I apologize in advance for all the traps and sentries, but you should be able to handle those. Piece of cake. I've also set up this wharf back to the evacuation camp, in case you need to restock on supplies. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and try to stall Dot Javis. If he wants to tap into the tower's energy, he'll be on the lowest level. Okay, just be safe down there, Faith. Don't, under don't underestimate him like we did. Please, if this scoundrel thinks he can mess with my town, he's got another thing coming. Now let's move out. Transform! Um. Wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that little, that little purple, um, that purple overlay because we're underground. It's such, it's such a little, just a tiny little detail, but it's so cool. Come on, dude, really? We get it, you have a small dick, no reason to let everyone know. Alright, what kind of enemies do we have down here? Water Sentry. I see. The adventuring was going just fine until the Water Sentry attacked. Hey, welcome on by, Silver Lakes. Hope you enjoy your time in the Ziggurat. Damn, multi bubble. Alright, that's a little bit of a pain. Why did I use fire? I should have used ice. Alright, Drekki, you are a fool! I feel like kicks are not the way to go for this. Let's hit him with a jab, and we will frost him up. Well, frost his tips! <laughs> there we go. Frozen like the popsicle you are. Let's top off Claire. Give him a whappy. <laughs> Just another trans lesbian furry obsessed with this game. I am the target demographic. <laughs> uh, well, welcome on by. I hope you have a fantastic time. Um, this was actually put on my radar by an amazing, lovely person. Um, Dolly. Uh... So if you're not aware of her, she's a little auteur on the internet playing fun games. Uh, definitely worth a gander. If you like, if you like this game, uh, you'll probably like the vibes of her streams as well. <laughs> well, or at least just her personality. <laughs> we we love we love auteurs here. <laughs> Seven, seven, seven gold. Well, that's good luck. Into combat. Ooh. 
possessed potion. You know, I feel like your potions should not have mouths. Um, especially because I feel like the liquid is just gonna like spill out. Those are very confusing potions. So like, is the liquid inside the potion their digestive juices? So do they like bite something and then the potion itself like interacts with the food? Or is it like the potion itself is magical, which causes things to break down into the potion liquid inside their stomach? Alright, as always, we give Allison a smooch to boost. Um, let's do lightning kicks, because I feel like we need to do some AoE attacks. And leave all foes with the burn, sure. All right, we're doing a good pit of damage. Oh shit. Damn it, Claire. Claire, I need you to stop using your die move. You're you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me by killing but by, by killing yourself basically. Um, let's actually put some Let's give, let's give Claire a little bit of a shield, because, uh, she does not have HP. Um, we need to heal... Yeah, let's just heal ourselves. Allison, I think we can finish off the potion, maybe? Let's go with the frost on the water sentry, and let's try and make sure that one of those potions dies. I might have messed up my timed messages. I will take a look at that next time I have to step away. That would be awkward! Hold on, Melody, are you healing? I don't remember if I put heal. Multifrost, and finish off the other potion? <clears throat> Alright, so we don't have very good AoE still. I should have I should have focused them down one at a time. Hindsight's 2020. Not being able to use my star power post combat is a little frustrating, but I don't know. I guess it's, it's balance. Something changed. Gotta save. Found a key and an enemy. Unhelpful jelly? Oh no, this isn't a pharmacist, it's a harmacist! <laughs> I'll, I'll be here all week, everyone. <laughs> Should be an item that lets you, party member, hold on to star power. Yeah, yeah, keep getting me into the void. I'll get my revenge eventually. Nah. If I find it, I find it. I'm not too... I'm not too... I'm not too worried. It's more just... Hmm. Oh, it's empty. Wanna bet Javis and his boys took whatever was in here? Man, what the hell could they even be looking for down here? They can't just be stealing treasure, or else they would have cleaned this place out. It's more like just... I like to use everything I can, but I don't want to like prolong combat just to do the MP restoration. Oh, four potions this time. All right, let's have Claire speed up Allison. Jody can burn everything for some chip.
Wow, rude. Draining mana? Wow, I hate this. Alright. Okay, we'll finish that off. Allison wow. can work on the second one. Wow. Hey, Hagler. Welcome on by. I hope you are having a great time. Yeah, let's make sure it dies. Shwing. Man, they are really fucking up my mana. Hiya! And then I kick him, sir. Man, what is with people today? Uh, I don't. Is there is there a is there a small dick convention going on outside? Like, what uh, what's going on? I mean, no shame, but like, you don't gotta you don't gotta put it on your car and scream it out. Mega potion. Silver plate helm. to Jody. Ah, damn, we have to take off our cowboy hat, though. Well, she... Yeah, she is our tank. Uh, your sacrifice will not be forgotten, Jody. Yeehaw. Unhelpful jelly and more possessed potions. Okay, dude. Uh, what did that say? Oh yeah, build star power. Yeah, of course it does. Um, we will speed up. Allison, Jody, can let's saber tooth chomp the jelly. Soften it up a little bit. Actually, I might need to just straight up... Hmm... I might leave the jelly alive and farm star power just so I can... ...restore mana, because I'm starting to get dangerously low. Try and kill this one. Tea got sippy sippy? Ooh, what kind of tea you got? I do need to get more, um... More coffee beans or more, more leaf. Or, uh, dirty bean water and dirty leaf water. Um... Let's restore melodies. Hydrate? Fine, fine, fine. Decaf Earl Earl Grey. Huh. I didn't realize there was decaf tea. I didn't realize tea had enough caffeine to be significant enough for decaf. If it wasn't decaf, it'd be late. Let's see here, you little shit. You eat me into the void? No, 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 no. Enjoy it while you can. I'll have my revenge. 
I'm keeping track. I'm watching. I'm watching you. Teas between soda and coffee on the caffeine scale. Black teas are more caffeinated. I see. Usually when I've been drinking teas, it's usually like more like mint tea, chamomile, or like a berry something. Gold armor. God, that's blinding. Uh, wow. Actually, hold on. Let's let's try and steal the golden armor and see what happens. Those are very light happens. I see. I see. Oh shit! We can. That's our first time we've actually legit gotten an item from a from from yoinking an enemy. Oh shit! They got a hell of a lot of HP. Noted. Alright, let's heal. Looks like it's gonna be a good fight to build um, star power for regenerating people's mana, so that is good to know. Not gold armor from the gold armor we write. It, yeah, it's it's like it's like painted on gold. Like it's not like made of gold armor. It's just colored gold armor. You know? What if I freeze the armor? Also, damn, these guys have got defense! Oh yes, gold alloy armor. Yeah, exactly. Alright, if you could stop beating up Melody, that would be nice. Man, they fucking hit hard, holy shit. Alright, Claire, I'm gonna need you to multi-frost. And Jody, I'm gonna need you to barrier melody. Alloy, but these are enemies! Ah. What? Flesh wound! I can still fight! <laughs> oh no, they killed Allison! Ah, oh, it's so brutal. The horrors these animals have inflicted upon these gold armors absolutely decimated the noble gold armor. What will they do next? Those monsters. Guys, they deal so much damage. Let's go for a low kick on that five. We are. Yeah, she is almost out of mana. Let's boost Allison just to get her mana to last a little bit longer. I am waiting for when we get like um an ultimate, like when our star power is full, we can do something. Also, it looked like for a second there, there was like just the boot, and then there's like a shadow. So like the the enemy in the gold armor is actually like a shadow within the armor itself. Kind of makes me think of a Dulahan. High kick. Let's cross. Let's bury No, I should have done Kraken armor. Boop. 
Um, we will speed up Allison. And we will use Kraken armor. Hell yeah. Get him, Allison! Beat him up! Hell yeah, now that's a chunk of damage. See? See, like, there's a, there's like a little shadow in the boot. It's like the enemy is not the armor itself. It's the, it's the thing inside of the armor. Our real demons were the enemies inside us all along. <laughs> also, I like how, because I remembered to put the plushie in VTube Studio, it's also getting affected by the brutal filter. <laughs> so instead of being nice, soft, pastel colors, now it has this this gritty, dark shadow. <laughs> I've certainly waffled between uh, whether I like uh, Having the filters apply to everything in VTube Studio versus just like my mo Oh fuck me, it's trap plates. Oh, I thought I was safe. Fuck! Alright. Alright, fine. 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 This is fine. This is fine. I am fine. Thank you for the head pads. I'm probably going to need them, because this is going to be another knockdown, drag-out fight, ain't it? Hell yeah! Dodge him, Allison! Eat him! Uh... Hmm. I suppose let's just do that. No. Let's just do some AoE heals. And. Actually. Yeah, let's do left jab. Let's have Claire give the attack boost. And we will Sabertooth chop the other gold armor just for a little bit of chip. Like, I know she has taunt, but... Yeah, she does have the highest defense. That is true. Okay, we want a normal attack. We want Claire to speed up. So Allison has all of her buffs. Getting hit- oh, getting hit booster star power. Oh. Well, now I just feel dumb. Bloop. Over here, dummy! Didn't even attack Jody. Oh, it's double attack. I think it was a double attack? I don't know. Alright, Melody, time for you to unleash your ultimate. Super Magical Girl Transformation Sequence! Go! And then insert, like, little Sailor Moon sort of thing for the, for a couple minutes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let's also build... let's put armor on Jody. If she's going to be getting more attacks. Finished him! What the hell? The taunt didn't even work! What the fuck's going on here? What's going on here? Hey, it's payback time! Defense down. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Bloop. Yeah, that's what you get for skipping leg day. Now look at you. No torso, just a head and a head and a boot. Actually, we'll use Paladin's gift, because why not? Him and we will 
Let me just attack. Bloop. One damage? Damn. It is not strong at this. Alright, we'll just finish him off. That's his haunts. Haunts more likely she'll be targeted, but not guaranteed. Really unimpressed with her. Um, I see. See, what I thought was you taunt specific enemies, and then I just noticed that, oh, it's just a general taunts everyone. So when we open that key up, also let's save. But there was that one thing to our left we haven't gotten to. How do we get over there? Some stairs. What am I missing? You know what? I bet it's through the key the key place we unlocked. And then um, there'll be some side path that lets us go upstairs. Damn it! Couldn't sneak past. Ooh. Cursed tome. I see. Cursed tome. Cursed tome. What cursed tomes? Oh, huh, do I have any cursed tomes? Um, I don't know, these, these feel a little cursed. These feel, these feel a little cursed. Just get my, get my, get my little, get my little thinking, get my little thinking books. I gotta, I gotta get part two if I bring up part one. It's just, it's just fair. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, the Hagel's Kegels are really good. You know, you'll get fit in no time. <laughs> and I just use taunt. Hmm, I feel it. <laughs> Why does the horse have teeth? Um, better question. Have you noticed that the horse only has two legs and wings? I'm pretty sure taxonomically that makes it a wyvern because wyverns have like two legs and then and then uh, wings. So it's a, it's an equine wyvern. Um, that, that that that's my ruling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it had arms, it'd be a, it'd be, it'd be a dragon. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's how that works. <laughs> uh, let's put a barrier on Claire because Claire likes to die. Horses, chesses, hindquarters. It's a good horse. God, fuck, damn it, Glottal. Now I'm imagining, like, we have the horse ass right here, and they have, like, a backwards head that, like, got turned around and they stuck it on. So, like, so, like the horse will be running away from us while it's facing us. Uh, the tail, okay. So the, the head is actually, like, the tail, and it's, it's like a butterfly. It's like a false, it's not actually a face. It's just there to trick us. I see. I understand. I got gotcha. you. Picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> what if a horse, but like really fucked up? <laughs> that that is a pretty good enemy design. <laughs> like the bird cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Butterfly. Icky, Icky. I need you. 
I need you to not emphasize that, please. I need you to take that back. I need you to... How... Hold on. How do I delete somebody else's message? <laughs> I can't believe... All of you abusing the void like that. Delete the Drekki. Why, why did I give you all a delete the Drekki command? Eventually I'll have a delete the chat. Put you all back in your place. Hell yeah, we're hitting level 19. All of our characters can vote now. Yep. Yep, I'm dead. Chat. Chat has slain me. I have perished. Um... I am not here anymore. Um... I am merely attempting to solve my unfinished business. Um, and the unfinished business is collecting all of the state quarters. Um, kind of a weird thing, but you know, they, they kind of had like a meme of it for a while. And I thought it'd just be kind of, it'd just be, it'd just be kind of cool. You know, like, I don't know, they're just, they're just kind of neat. Relax, foolish Harrys. I'm not here to obliterate you. Not right now, anyway. I'm merely taking this opportunity to abuse a bit of studying while the monsters and traps do their job. I must sharpen my intellect if I am to outshine my brothers. Father says he loves us all equally, but I'm sure I can persuade him to love me more equally. However, I'm afraid that all of your books are very stupid and bad. Hey now, some of us would kill to study in a place like this. Well, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it without the killing, and I'd still say it isn't worth it. Would not recommend. Zero out of ten. L plus ratio. Skill issue. Get owned, nerd. Anyway, please do not attempt to provoke me. My brothers and I promised to the bear. She would be the first to pummel you. And quite frankly, she scares me. <laughs> right. Ah, run away! Nope, it's right on us. Cursed Tome and a Core Guardian. Damn. We'll escape him next time, yeah. Pals. Gals, pals. Uh, what, 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 who am I on? Allison? Um, yeah, let's kill the Tome first. Let, let's let's do, a, do a little bit of book burning as a treat. Enemies ineffectually matching against you during dialogue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I like is, so like, I, I, I'm used to like a lot of JRPGs where you have like the main party member is running around on the map and like maybe you'll have the secondary characters behind you and usually it's just cosmetic, you know. Um, the enemies have to like be touched by your main party, like the party leader, before the, before the combat happens. But um, in this game, if an enemy touches anyone in your party, um, combat's initiated. And I think, I think it's, it's like a small thing, but I think it's, it's pretty nice. I, I, I feel like I keep saying that. This game is, it's hitting all the notes in even the smallest ways, and I love it for that. It is fantastic. Directly, you want to be, you want to be gal pals? <laughs> Alas, I am a dead serpent. I have no feelings. No mortal desires. Simply a need to collect quarters. Quarters from every state in the Union! Hmm. I need to give mana to Jody now that I think about it. I need to, I need to, I need to copy paste. Some time ago, I had a good, I had a good, like, little, little rhymy paragraph, little bullshit thing. Because, like, I know, I know there's the typical, um, guys, gals, nine binary pals. And then I was trying to extend it even wider. I think it was, like, critters, skitterers, chitterers, too. 
and then and I can't remember the other two lines I thought. I need I need to like relook my in my in my history of messages somewhere to see if I have it written down because I think it was a very nice turn of phrase if even if it was a fucking mouthful. <laughs> uh, let's purify Jody because she's a little bit blurst right now. Kings, queens, and in-betweens? Oh, hell yeah, dude, O'Connor. That is fantastic. I love it. I love it. What if I fan the flames? Question mark? Or ladies, gentlemen, both and neither? Nice. This sounds maximally stupid. <laughs> There's certainly some very silly ones. Alright, everyone's level 19. We're almost level 21 and then our party can drink.